Hello, kind viewers, and welcome to Golden Age Technology. Today, we are glad to present an informative do it yourself demonstration with the help of Mr. Peter Wood, an everyday handyman and sustainable energy enthusiast from Austria. We will learn how to produce the clean and green oxyhydrogen or HHO gas using equipment that is easily obtainable by most people. Oxyhydrogen gas is a wonderfully versatile and efficient gas. It is also environmentally friendly, creating only water vapor as a byproduct and no greenhouse gas emissions. It is produced by running an electrical charge through water via a dry cell electrolyzer. The electricity splits the water into its two gases, hydrogen and oxygen. The result is a gas that can be created on demand. Oxyhydrogen gas is non-toxic, which makes it safe to use for industrial operations. It can burn at very high temperatures and even adjust its temperature depending on the material it is in contact with. In the air, it can burn at around 230 degrees Celsius, yet when it is in contact with a strong metal, it can cut through it at a temperature of over 6000 degrees Celsius. HHO gas has become popular for use with industrial welding and cutting equipment. Peter Wood will now show us the dry cell electrolyzer he has built. Two years ago I started to make research with uh, hydrogen and oxygen. I started to look in the internet and very quickly I could find some good possibilities uh, to build for my own dry cell. Dry cell is something which separates out of the water the two different gases uh, call it uh, hydrogen and oxygen uh, and so I started to build this uh, kind of uh, dry cells here is the dry cell it is two sheets of stainless steel separated by gasket and uh, when the, the electricity uh, comes uh, to the poles then the, the water is split up in uh, hydrogen and oxygen and I need only to push one button now to give the, the current on the, the plates and the device will start to split uh, the water and here I have the other one now both are in action now I name parts for you this is uh, one electrolyzer this is the second one, and so we have two devices, and this cell has water in it, but only uh, very little, because it has a, a water container, which is this part here. You can see here is water in it, and it's just uh, uh, distilled water with a little bit of an electrolyte, called uh, potassium hydroxide. Uh, this stays in the container and is not huge, used by the process. So you can see the liquid comes in on bo to both uh, devices on one side and on the other side the gas comes out with a little bit of liquid and goes back to the container. And from the container uh, the gas is separated uh, from the water and goes to the next device which we can see here. I have two of them. Uh, this is called bubbler. A bubbler is a, a box filled with water and the gas has to go through the water. And then I have a next part and this is mainly used for welding purpose when we want to uh, make a flame with this gas. This is the so-called flashback arrester it's a copper tube with uh, fittings on both sides and this copper tube is filled with uh, stainless steel wool and the stainless steel wool I have here 
uh, in the back can show you. It's very, very thin, very fine steel wool. And this is very uh, tight, has to be very tight in this copper tube. And this can also stop any backflash of the gas. We would know that HHO, it's a mixture of hydrogen and oxygen. And this is normally very, very quickly can enlighten it like a flash. Uh, so normal uh, flag bash uh, valves would not help. So these are the parts. Here we have some other thing uh, because we need current. And so for current, I have car batteries. Or another possibility would be just batteries. My uh, dry cell, I let it run on 24 volt. So I need two batteries in series to get my 24 volts. And so we can uh, have a look how it works. I connect uh, the battery with the cell and immediately it starts to work. This is only the small cell working now. And then I connect uh, the power source to the other one. And this one too starts to work. Mr. Wood has built two dry cells in order to create more gas. He could also have created a large single cell, but it is easier for him to transport two smaller and lighter cells. You're watching Golden Age Technology. When we return, we will continue with our presentation on producing oxyhydrogen gas at home. Please stay tuned on Supreme Master Television.